two in a row in Gianni Meersman at the top and I think we're going to have two in a row today and this is the man who took it yesterday can Quintana do it again he's got the form uh, for me I think he was needing a wee bit more help by uh, Team Sky and uh, Katusha there but he is the biggest danger I think in 2.6 kilometres he could possibly come somewhere near Dan and uh, maybe take the overall uh, lead in this uh, you know, uh, Tour of Catalonia but it's going to be touch and go but he definitely has the bit between his teeth and something to prove today you've got to remember that they lost uh, Valverde and Capecchi but uh, he's going to eat up this road in front of him but for me I think it's looking very good for uh, Dan Martin for the stage Fantastic well uh, the great thing for Quintana is he's got a couple of intermediate riders as well and if he reaches those they're all going to be markers for him and he'll count them down psychologically in his mind uh, around the corners just searching for riders he comes time and time again and he has proven that the legs that he had yesterday but no fluke, absolutely not. He's on great form. Mind you, just look at the cadence of this man. Daniel Martin still driving away, hoping for victory here, hoping to do it all again. Well, he's uh, giving it a very, very good good go here. And plenty of you on Twitter as well. Thanks for your messages. It's uh, just too dramatic at the moment to get to you. But uh, Quintana is on the chase. These are the men who are in his sights right now. Uh, just the intermediate riders. Uh, he'll get to them in a while. The penultimate rider there is Van and Broek and then top left of your screen right now still just look at the way he's pacing himself here Daniel Martin is heading for victory I think here and there we are Martin back to Quintana is a minute and 35 with 2.1 kilometers to go I think Quintana who is 26 seconds down at the start of the day is going to lose out here only four seconds he was giving away for Daniel Martin and just look at the determination here this is fabulous yeah absolutely fabulous and you got to remember that uh, if he, it looks as if he is going to take the stage and he takes that jersey today he's still got a couple of good teammates in this group behind so looking very good for Garmin Sharp today and especially for Ireland and the uh, uh, young Dan Martin. Well, the clock was marked back to uh, Quintano. Uh, don't forget the last time they did the reading for to Jürgen van der Broek, it was, uh, what, 58 seconds? But here comes Quintano right now. Uh, there he is, six in the general classification, confirmation of 26 seconds down. Uh, there was some uh, confusion yesterday as they uh, uh, accidentally imposed uh, some of the time bonuses along the way. Two to go. There's that marker. Which rider are we with? Uh, race leader at the moment and overall leader I'll be bound if he takes this. Daniel Martin takes another curve here, tries to get as much speed as he can into the hairpin and he's uh, got very few turns still to make here. Uh, the road kind of just lazies out as it gets towards the summit here and that plays into his hands. It'll come as a, a blessed respite. It'll almost feel like a, an easy course for him. He's got uh, another right hander, uh, a gentle left hander and then a final sort of hairpin right before he has to come in it'll be the flam rouge just after that turn and then he's got one last uh, left hand turn before the road really does uh, welcome him to the line that is Jürgen van der Broek who's uh, had a brave brave effort here the clock's counting on van der Broek I think this is Quintana who's come out of the main group including Joaquim Rodriguez and of course Bradley Wiggins and Sky just thin on the ground at the end and this man got a free ride because of the battle going on between Coming, those two he's teams come, he's coming up very quick oh. and from the two kilometer to the one kilometer this climb averages nine percent if dan can get past to the one kilometer to go then it eases up to about four point five point four percent average this is a tough kilometer if you can keep van der Broek, you can just see him at the bottom of the picture if you keep him at bay he's coming back very very quickly the team cars up alongside this is make or break for me i think he's left it a wee bit too late dan martin looks as if he's going to be taking this stage win but quintana shown the form he did have yesterday is trying to come back. I think he's got Van der Broek in his sights uh, as we speak. There is Martin. Uh, Van der Broek is the intermediate rider here, but uh, we're staying with the Movistar rider who won yesterday, Quintana, and they're just starting to tire. There you go, 59 seconds. Uh, these are the two intermediate riders as well between those two names on your screen on the graphic. Uh, foremost amongst them is Daniel Martin. He's out front, and this is Quintana, and he's got two of his quote it's quarry out front right now there's van den Broek, and it looks like um he has just run out of steam here you don't know what gear he's actually uh, uh pushing down here but um 
there is his uh, co-escapee from Blanco just a few moments ago and behind them is Quintana 1.1 to go though for this man Daniel Martin up front and now the sadly comes again he's just got to clear his mind and go for the line there's not much strategy left here well this is a hard kilometre we get to the one kilometre to go and it levels a, a bit but uh, Quintana I think for me leaving a wee bit too late that's why the team car came up to Arada and uh, you know they wanted to, to go on the attack towards the top of this climb they didn't realise that uh, they've got a really tough Irishman in front right for Garmin Sharp really pushing hard as he can he just has to get to that one kilometre you will get a wee bit of inspiration from it but he has done a ride of his life today well it's been a day for the Celts uh, Nicholas Roche was out there and went out alone off uh, that escape group Daniel Martin just uh, kept his powder dry I think you might say and he's come to the end game here and he really has that is the advantage and essentially Quintana is back with Jasink and uh, Van den Broek at the moment catching them but as Brian said probably way too late and suddenly the others are starting thinking about uh, GC distance and there's Perito Joaquin Rodriguez decides to go as well and he's within sight here of these guys he's going to get on the back of uh, Quintana now that would be a superb performance but nothing like this Daniel Martin takes the Flam Rouge here one kilometre to go uh, has to uh, the airbridge actually positioned on the road on the inside of the corner that's exactly what he didn't want and here comes Joaquin Rodriguez trying to get back at Quintana and keep this race alive for himself later on 900 metres only then for Daniel Martin he goes by Jacink here and still he looks like he's struggling this is going to be Daniel Martin's day it's a question of the distance and whether it'll be in the leader jersey the clock's rolling back to the other guys yeah still looking good for Dan the, uh, the chasers still have to come under the uh, the flam rouge and it's just around the corner Vanderbrook still looking strong but uh, Quintana looking invincible in this climb a wee bit earlier it looks as if he's starting to flag Rodriguez is up onto the wheel and uh, the red jersey there so one kilometre to go Dan's got 43 seconds wow. on the chasers now looking very good and uh, the team should be more than happy with this man going to take the stage and take the overall jersey with it. A lot of door banging going on at the moment just to encourage him. Don't look back, just look forward um, is the watchword and all of a sudden he actually looks down the mountain to see where the pursuers are. They're all kind of looking at each other. Quintana, Rodriguez and Van der Broek, they're all having a brief chat here. It's not going to happen for them but it is for Daniel Martin here. He's in the last few hundred metres of what has been the Queen stage today of this Tour of Catalonia. 217 kilometres and there it is. Uh, the clock tells you everything you need to know. Uh, we're looking at an iron Irish winner today and this is an absolutely superb performance by him very gutsy he's been out there all day let's not forget and remains the freshest of all well Rodriguez in the red at the front really has this it's man against man now Rodriguez is thinking right if I can close as many seconds as I can to Dan Martin I can go again and go from an uh, Mount Juic in a few days time it's not over the overall is not over but the leader's jersey could be in the back of the Irishman in the left hand side he has to just keep it going and it's down to a a battle between Rodriguez on the right hand side and Dan Martin on the left we know he's going to win the stage but how much is he going to take this jersey yeah well Quintano as well will feel he's got something left to play in this entire tour of Catalonia but it is the barriers that now welcome uh, Daniel Martin over the rise he comes the finish line is within sight and this has been a spectacular performance what a day it's been we lost our uh, leader who took a tumble uh, we had an Irishman go off earlier on today Nicholas Roy and it's another Irishman, Daniel Martin, who just timed this absolutely beautifully. Rowdy comes to uh, the applause of the crowd here, into the sunshine, almost above the clouds. Keep and going. there is the Keep line. Going. Keep going. Forget about the celebration. He can't do that. He needs he says 24 natural. seconds. He needs 24 seconds. Well, this is the comeback right now. Naturally, he just wanted to celebrate across the line with sheer relief, I'll be bound. And here goes the clock then on the pursuers. Who's going to be probably Rodriguez but Quintana will uh, fancy just putting in a late kick here it will be uh, perhaps a sprint to the line between these two but these guys are keeping their general classification hopes alive for later on here Daniel Martin had a 30 second deficit he's in the leader's jersey right now but it was an awful lot closer than we thought here as they crossed the line 35 seconds the gap between them at the top Vandenbroek, brave man, comes to the line here. 47 seconds down for him. Jacint crosses the line with a 50 seconds in arrears. 